Absolutely beautiful day. Not a bad view for February 2nd, huh? <laughs> so, today's video is about running barefoot or, you know, why run barefoot. Let me give you a little background on myself. Uh, in 2009, I was coerced into reading a book called Born to Run. It's pretty famous. You guys probably already know what it's about. Um, I finished the book one evening at the fire station. It's a really good story, but I thought the entire idea was insane. That somehow you would enjoy running more and you would be running with the less chance of injury if you took your shoes and socks off. You know, I look, I came from a military background where you wore heavy duty combat boots and you know you never ever went anywhere without your shoes on uh, and the thicker and the more solid the shoes the better but I'm also somewhat open-minded and I thought you know even though I hadn't run for years I thought I'll go around the fire station just run around the block once I mean it's dark nobody's gonna see that block turned into a mile and at the end of that mile, uh, I mean, my feet were on fire. My nerve endings were just going nuts. But something happened. It, it awoke a kind of curiosity in me that, hey, there might be something to this. So for the next six months, at a more gradual pace, I started running barefoot, a little bit at a time. Now, like I said, I was not a runner, but as I was learning how to run barefoot, uh, how to do it without getting any blisters, and how to change my form, all of a sudden the mileage started piling up. And as the mileage piled up, I suddenly enjoyed running and I enjoyed training and I was looking forward to you know my next little goal you know I still remember and this was in 2009 I still remember the first time I actually made it three miles I was so excited so a few months after I ran that three miles I signed up for a race and here I was, I was 36 years old, going to a 10K race. I had never been to a race before, and I was so nervous. I wore shoes because I didn't want anyone to see me running around barefoot. And I still, to this day, remember, as I was driving to the spot, just... And thinking, I still remember thinking, man, everybody there is going to be, like, rail thin and super fast. They're going to know that I don't belong there. But I went anyway, and to my surprise and thrill, there were people of every shape and size, tall, short, big, small, it didn't matter. And everybody lined up and we took off, and I was having so much fun that even though I was wearing the shoes and I was getting blisters, uh, my 10k turned into a half marathon they they let me go on and that was my first half marathon but over the next holy cow I guess it's been over 10 years now I've done like 60 races uh, a lot of them have been barefoot um, a lot of them have not there I've used the ultra tennis shoes I've used sandals I've used the vibrant five fingers but I have gone up to marathon distance. It was actually the Heart of America Marathon in Columbia, Missouri. I've done that barefoot. I ran trail barefoot, uh, the Dogwood Canyon 15K and 25K. And the reason why I bring all this up, uh, I see a lot of posts on different barefoot or minimalist shoe sites. 
uh, especially people who sell minimal shoes talking about how you know you need to progressively work your way down to bare feet and you need to progressively do this and you have to be really careful because you know you might step on something and you know that would just ruin you um guys it's just not true i've been running barefoot for 11 years the worst injury i ever had was i was going through an intersection on a uh, on a marathon relay and i was saying thank you to the road guard and i stepped on a bolt uh, as I was running and it put a little bit of a bruise on the front of my foot That's it. That's the worst thing that's happened. So Don't let fear hold you back So I guess the real question is why? Why take the time the six months to relearn how to run and for me it comes down to biomechanics I believe that we were designed to run a certain way to run in a way that does not injure our body and break down our joints. And while you can absolutely run correctly in shoes, you still have to learn how to do it right. And running barefoot teaches you the correct form so that way you can take that and go to sandals or go to shoes or whatever else you want to do. It's not going from a minimal shoe or a normal tennis shoe and working your way down. It's relearning from the ground up. Learn how to run barefoot. Get your form correct and then transition to other things. Uh, I've been on several races where, I mean, there are senior citizens running around. These people are in their late 60s, they're in their 70s, and they're running. And one thing I've noticed about them, their form is good. They might not be the fastest, but their form is good. And so, anyway, that's my reasoning. I want to be able to do this as long as I'm allowed to live on this earth. I want to be able to run. And it does me no good to break myself down.